Hello everybody, I am Brayman19 and welcome to episode number two of our Maratha campaign in season two of Empire Total War. So, I hope you guys have all liked and commented the video as well subscribed and hit that notification bell because we're going to have a very fun episode today. I think we're going to take our first territory as well as really start securing our western territories over here. East has not been messed with yet, but now that I say that, watch it all start to crumble. Uh, let's get ready to go, though. I have my units ready to go. Unfortunately, not a lot of money, so I'm just going to have to end the turn. See what happens. So, I've decided that our late game units are probably going to be Seek Musketeers. Just because they offer that great range and firepower as well as good morale. Even though there's probably better infantry as far as range and firepower out there, that morale is huge. I don't want somebody who takes like three shots and runs. Um, not to mention you don't really want to try to work the, you know, a bad unit to become better. You would rather work an okay unit to become better. So I'd rather do that. Um, we'll probably use elephants extensively. Um, right now I just don't have access to very many, but later on as our tech goes up, we will do more. Man, I would love if Mysore, like if Goa shot up against Mysore right now. Like that's just kind of stuff I like to see. Okay, as you can see, there's not much we got to worry with. Trade routes is under attack from an enemy fleet. Without your intervention, they'll raid. Man, she's so serious about something that's like, yeah, you can't do nothing about it. Jughead. Okay. Nation destroyed. The Crimean Khanate is now gone. New Royal Air Tarabai. Recruitment report: more men in Bijapur. War declared between Austria and France. That's unusual for me. Um, we're going to get two units. And that's going to be weird. Okay. Um, I'm going to undo this for a second. They got a bunch of like little one stacks over here. We're going to order, we've got five, so I'm going to order five more, I guess. Two, three, four. Takes two turns to get all of them, then they'll all be up in a the position. Then this guy, he's going to get his five new ones. Really and truthfully, I'd probably only order like four and order them down here. How much do they even cost? I really don't know. Well, I can't do them here. Never mind. It's that military's go. I mean, I just want to come down here and fix this whole territory up. I don't like having military governors encampments and barracks and stuff. It helps you build quicker, but yeah, they're having a hard time. Wouldn't surprise me if rebels pop. If rebels pop, I'd walk down here myself. Let's see how that goes. Right now, just end the turn, focus on getting the men we need to get. Hopefully they don't try to break out up there before I have my new units in place. Ooh, France beating back a British ship. Yep, I can't see the Austrians. I can see the Dutch. I can see them lose. I can see Spain. That's that long trade route to Great Britain. I'd like to trade with most of Europe. I don't really care to go to war up there. This isn't like a world dominance thing, which I could do. Maratha is very easy to do a world dom like world dominance thing with because once you knock out the Mughals, who are you dealing with at home? Get yourself a navy, sit there outside the ports and wait. <laughs> Not much to it. Hey. Okay. Successful mission, we're starting to see more. That's what that successful mission is. Recruitment, those guys at Bijapur. There you go. Pull them in. Like, pull them in and pull them in quick. Okay. Do have my 10 stack down here. They're messing around, and until I can not have to really worry with the money gonna be worrying about this um I've got five I need four 
One, two, three, four. Now I might use that army to break off some of this. I don't know. It's a little early for me to figure it all out. This is still three turns. They're probably going to break, have like rebellion here very shortly. F. Hmm. I don't know where this other town's going to be. Oh, there's Pondicherry down here. This would be like a wonderful trade province. Okay. Are we barely holding on to this? No. Yeah, I have plenty of money. That's one thing I'm looking at. Okay, you'll get your next three, next turn, and then I'll be building my four. Hmm. I don't know. End the turn, let's let some money build. I don't even have, like, great walls everywhere. Okay. I mean, that's not like my requirement to move forward, of course. Because I'll be so, you know, so rich from trade income because we pretty much own the spice trade. That, uh, by that point. Yeah, the Mughal are building up. You can see it. Let's please move your enemies either together or away. Okay, Mysore up. Oh, there's the Rebellion. Rebellion's not going to beat Mysore like that. Okay. Moving through all these guys. One of your sea trade routes is under attack from an great, enemy great. fleet. Great, Don't care. Recruitment. Yep, there's those guys. Which means my 10 stack here is in great order. Now, these guys over here are going to be... Having, we're going to have a hard time here if we don't start fighting out. So I feel like this would be a good time to start. Um, I'm going to hit these guys down here. 954 against 428. Okay, let's stack all these guys. Like that. Pull the general. I want the general just to kind of stay behind. I don't want him, you know, truly engaging guys. Yeah, they're big targets for Keenan. That's the only bad part about elephant, uh, gen you know, elephants in this game. Keep it going. Yep, they're forming out the line. They got a bunch of musketeers and cavalry. All right. Once we get into position, we're going to be far better off. We're actually going to all run to position from here. Maybe it might scare them a little bit to move. Yep, just like that. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, I want to get like three right here. There you go. Far side. Yeah, they killed a few right there, but we're moving up into position. There's some fighting over here, so we're going to let them do it. They have one general's bodyguard there. Chasm, okay. A lot of fighting on this flank. Move off over here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, just keep beating them up. These guys don't have very many of them in there. The thing is when they shoot a bow, when they shoot an arrow, it's almost guaranteed to hit and kill. Or to kill if it hits. Alright, these guys are playing around. don't really see an area that I can kind of move ourselves to. Well, fine then. We'll come hit that unit. In melee, they are way better, but we surround them, so... Maybe that's worth something. Killed them. Getting his horsemen here, shattering them. It's down to five. It should really be a complete kill. There you go. Off over here. These guys are still firing. We can kind of get into position like we want. Rush two. We'll hold off here. We've killed the general. These guys are running in fear. These guys are shattered without me even killing that many of them. These guys seem to be dying as they run without us even touching them. These guys are down to 60. Oh, they're levees. Ah, no wonder. Well, that's not too much of a shocker. They're broken. Okay, so we killed 424 to only lose 48 of our own. He is completely killed, destroyed. We'll take these guys, fix them up, bring them back here, and defend our capital. Um, There's three guys here. I don't know if I really want to shoot at them. I mean, we're getting ready to start getting our units now, so might be better off if we just wait on that. Yeah, I don't have any ships and harbors. It's rather unfortunate. Um, let's go and get empiricism working on instead of doing the other one. I know I really want to work down some military lines, but getting some tech uh, rate increases will be better. Ooh, the British might have fought the Spanish there. They're, they're still fighting the Spanish. He's definitely going to die doing that. Like, he can't... He doesn't have a big enough fleet and they are hurt. Okay, France. France, what are you planning to do? Oh, there's the Dutch doing Dutch things. Okay, Ottomans were doing something. I can't see the Ottomans, though, so there's no point. Okay, they're moving units down. They're just cheap crap units, though. Oh, they're trying to fight out. 954 against my 630. Okay, here we are. Um, set everybody up on the line like normal. Good, good, good. Everything looks just wonderful, guys. In deployment, and let's just wait it out. They got to come to me. Might be beneficial. Bring them up to that. Awesome. 
you know, they gotta shoot over. Now, one of the negative things about the Indian nations is that they can't do fire by rank later. So I lose one of my favorite things about line infantry. So we're just gonna have to deal with that when that time comes. It just, it sucks. It's nothing I can do about it though. You can, even if you like get European units, you can't do it. Like them and the Ottomans both just can never get it. And it sucks because it really is a hindrance. But of course, like if you've got really good units and you've got 20 stacks of, you know, including like, you know, the howitzers and cannons and all that, there's no worry. Okay. We are going to let this kind of roll out. Go up here. Go up here. Just going to kind of stick out behind them. I don't know what they're doing, and it kind of freaks me out that they might be changing up based off these guys moving. Place. Place. These guys are all running, though. Let them fast forward again. Yeah, they gotta collect themselves in line. They're actually getting some uh, concealment here because of the trees. My guys are all stopped. You gotta come to me, man. I hope they're recreating that line again. They probably didn't, probably one little thing they didn't like. So it just sucks because they don't actually like spread out like I would. They send all their units weird directions. Go move in. There's firing on the ground now. They don't kill too many of them. Let's just, you know, let them run. Let them get hit, let these guys do their job, and that's knock them out. There you go. I mean, the more of them we hit, the better off, right? I mean, we're going to get the rank. Not to mention, the more we kill, you know, the more likely we are to, uh destroy and take you know take the facility for ourselves or the city whatever they're running just beyond our ability to see they are broken back here and shattered shattered okay we killed 564 of 630 we only lost 20 of our own oh my gosh another guy comes in to hit my college Oh wow, Portugal is doing work at sea. Uh, they probably ain't gonna do nothing on land though. Okay. Good there. Construction. Yeah, good stuff getting done in our capital. It actually kind of looks like our capital has nothing else for it to be done in right now. You to there. You've got one more troop. This guy's got four units, so I should probably try to go hit it. Yeah, one more turn. We definitely can hold out. Um, fire it. Fire it. We're going to have a unit coming down there very shortly. Oop, 906 against 480. Okay. 
Same sort of deal. He's up. Right now, I think we've kind of got our, our magic mix. We're just going to actually use our infantry this time. Race off, get into position. We are in position most places. These guys out here might need a little bit of a rest. Yeah, they were active. There we go. Oh, they might move up the extra little bit and get hit, like these guys will. And they're pikemen, that's... they can't even shoot at me. Don't understand that. These guys are musketeers, pikemen, pike. Most are pikemen. Just now realizing that. I just stay barely out of range of uh, their guys. I'm in good shape. Oh, they might try to close the gap. You never know. I'd want them to. We need to get as much rank as we can. And you get ranked by killing people. Okay, he's ebbing and flowing. Making it very hard to figure out who to shoot at. Of course, he's at 93. Actually, he's lost a order of his troops. Okay. You guys have done well. Just reload for now. Up oh, here's the musketeers directly in front of us. Let's take out a few more of their guns. Kind of don't have a good area to fire from right here. Oh, it's like getting a little bit better now. Come on, take out a few more. Directly in front of you. Good thing we've got a rank on him. That's going to be what's going to probably save that unit. Move up. Oh yeah, we did a lot of good damage to him just now. We might even get a chance for a shoot back on him. These guys rush to position. Good thing I kept my cavalry back they all because they're you know pikemen. Nice job. Way to break them. Focus on reloading for now. I have a feeling they're going to come back. And square it off right here. These guys are actually going to come in and help with that. OK, 
Okay, our guys are holding out really well. Oh, we're getting hit in the flank up here. Good thing the size of the unit's not very is not as big as it could have been. Thing is, if he can when he runs away, which might happen at any minute here. Come on, back there he goes, broken. And shattered. He's gonna get shot at the same time. This one right here should get shot by these guys. There you go, see? That makes them shattered even worse. go ahead and move up. He did shatter him. Yeah, I don't care if these guys are tired. They're not going to end up doing any battling anyway. These guys are going to fire on that. This may get to shoot at him. I don't know. Don't like it's going to happen. Up oh, here they come. Yeah, they are going to. If he's wavering, he should break here any second. There he is, breaking and shattering at the same time. Yep, unit's got some good taste for battle there. Only one of them is not ranked. Okay, so we killed 432 out of 480, lost 37 of our own. He is going to run off. I don't think that's the last that we'll see of him. I don't think that. Um, up here... The man it surrendered at will. Fix it up. Work on the infrastructure. Take these guys, fix that up. Um, there's nothing else here. Cotton or tea? Um, I have a feeling that we can do tea better than anybody else can. T is 15, cotton is 15. Let's go with T. Rice patties, okay. I don't know, I could probably, I could definitely get down there and beat them. Your Majesty. Not with this unit though. Tum bahut sawal karte ho. I'm going to take this unit down to here, though. You know, he, he's pretty good. Um, stick that unit in there. That'll open up a little bit of trade. Not much. But a little bit. And a little bit's all you need sometimes. This over here is in not great shape at all. Um, maybe in two turns. Hune, right there. Uh, we're gonna have to hold this area though. I mean, when it's working, it's only giving us a 160, so we'll just have to wait. We might get raided here in that two turn time. Got another trade port though. Um, Anybody I can look to working with, maybe? Uh, the Ottomans would be a great friend. Um, France, Ottomans. I'd see a lot more of the Ottomans than I'd probably care to see. Mm. Let's work with... Uh, work with France. I mean, it's just probably a more worthwhile trade agreement. The Ottomans or Russia. 
don't think I'm going to have Russia for very long. Um, the Ottomans probably are better off. Actually, I won't have that long of a trade agreement with them. Okay, if you don't want to, if you want to pay me, pay for it. I can't afford it right now. Uh, anybody else worth it? Venice would give me a really weird trade route. Persia wouldn't. Denmark costs okay. A lot of people don't care if they have a trade route with me though. Like I could trade with just about everybody. Uh, Great Britain's most important one to me. You know, for an you know maybe a future alliance. And they're already enemies with France, Poland, all those guys. Yeah, they just don't want to ally with me. That's okay. I don't want to be your friend either. Um, yeah, we're working out trade routes here. I'd love to get a quick ship. Hmm, 204, 16, 904. Sloop's better off. But I can't protect a sloop should it happen. They have one. And a brig. Let me get a sloop. Let's just try. Worst case scenario. Can't keep it, right? Trying to fix up this one. And I think after all that, that's about all I can do. So guys, I'm going to end this one right here. Um, in the future, I'm going to look to maybe go work off against Hyderabad. Um, and, you know, with all this area secured. And maybe own, like, these two next with that going on i'll then be pretty much defensive for a little bit until i can get up a big enough you know so i can get the better armies to go north to kutak or at least get my you know units ready to move forward so all right guys appreciate you all so much for watching do not forget to like subscribe and comment maybe check out the links in the description below as well as make sure that you uh it's really important that you do like and comment so that youtube algorithm does get it i appreciate everybody who has been doing that and uh, yeah, guys, I will see you all next time.